I'm Mike Grace, I'm from Monash Uni, I'm the director of the Water Studies Centre. Stream metabolism, it's a complicated term, but it really refers to the food resources at the bottom of the food web. Everybody's really keen to know about fish, but for fish to survive and thrive, they need something to eat. And stream metabolism looks at photosynthesis, which most people know is the capturing of solar energy or sunlight and nutrients and creating new organic material, new plants for organisms such as fish and insects to eat. There are a couple of reasons that environmental water might be really important for stream metabolism and this energy resource for the food web. The first is environmental water can bring new nutrients in. Nitrogen and phosphorus are needed for plant growth just as much in waterways as you do need them in your garden and having water coming from the floodplain or from backwaters from creeks and rivers that fill up and then flow into the main channel brings a new source of nutrients. When a river is sitting there with no new water coming in all of the nutrients get used up by plants and then there's nothing much. They're almost starving so this is like banquet time coming in when the river starts rising water comes in. This project is incredibly exciting and unique because for the first time anywhere in the world are we looking at the effects of flow and the environmental flow releases on metabolism, the energy base for the food web across such a large spatial scale and on a daily basis. People have done this on a single site in a single stream for years and learned a little bit but for the first time we're going to be able to work out how effective environmental flow releases are at stimulating energy production and hopefully then linking that into the food resources for the fish. I think being able to link the size and magnitude of a flow to the environmental effect through the amount of energy that's been created, that's brilliant. What we want to do is to show what sort of flow how big it needs to be at what time of the year and the duration and see where we get the biggest bang for our water buck. So being able to show precisely what the best outcome is means that we've got the best chance of having enough water for everybody. So the beneficiaries of this work are the managers, so local, state and federal managers of the water, but also all other users of the water. <laughs>